So here I am about to install the awesome 4060 Ti into my Nook 11 Extreme. So I've peeled open the Nook 11 Extreme Beast Canyon. It's the core i9 model. And I'm just about to install the 4060 Ti into the lone PCIe uh, 16 uh, Gen 4 slot there in the blue. And just for other Nook uh, owners, there's a eight pin power adapter, a six, a two, and another six pin adapter to the right, all kind of bind it together by this um, detachable uh, bind there. And then there's the uh, 4060 Ti all metal. So even the frame, it's, it's very heavy, a lot heavier than it looks. But yeah, it's all basically made of metal. I don't want to, I'm refraining from touching it. So because I, I don't want my fingerprints on it. Uh, and then uh, it comes with this uh, power adapter. So it's a eight pin female to 12 pin male to the 12 pin female plug on the bottom of the GPU there. And according to the instructions or lack thereof, uh, one should plug in the adapter first, have it nice and snug into the GPU before installing the GPU into the board or whichever board. And then uh, connecting the, uh, the eight pin adapter accordingly and trying to squeeze it all into this shoe box, uh, shoe box sized uh, nook. But um, yeah, I think the NVIDIA unboxing experience has been extremely impressive at least on a, on a visual level, from a technical standpoint, I would have preferred more documentation. Uh, the documentation currently on the website is very sparse, whether you're going to the nvidia.com site straight up, or you continue after the link via the, the QR code provided by sort of the, um, the anyway, so there's a QR code kind of tucked away uh, that serves sort of like your online manual, but as of the filming of this video, May 29th, uh, there is no 4060 Ti PDF uh, shared on their website. So uh, documentation uh, timing could be better. Otherwise I'd be referencing the 4070 documentation just to get a sense of uh, what's going on and if there's anything to look out for. But otherwise, I guess it's just a matter of ensuring that your power requirements are, are good. Uh, you have the right kind of power um, uh, interconnect output there. That is a eight pin. Uh, and uh, uh, doing your homework in terms of fitment, you need about 1.4 inches uh, to account for the adapter dangling off of the card. So just kind of be aware of that. And uh, let's see how it goes. So I managed to uh, stuff the 4060 Ti into the Nook 11 Extreme. It was a very tight fit, uh, mainly because of this proprietary adapter here from eight to 12 pin, 12 pin of which is what the card actually accepts. So you gotta use the included adapter um, to make it all uh, connected. So a to get this fitting, it was a matter of moving a lot of the uh, power cables uh, to the right of the card um, and then really bending the uh, adapter to such that, um, you know, it won't interrupt the, uh, the fan there and have it actually close but it does work. I just tested it. I've just peeled it open again, just to get a sense of airflow. So apparently air is drawn to these, there's two fans, one on either side of the cards. Uh, for this fan here, air is drawn in and expelled immediately to the, the rear exhaust, which could be problematic because uh, the hot air gets pumped up there. And then it, for the CPU, the Nook, um, 
unit itself is actually drawing air, uh, fresh air, cold air there. So hot air gets pumped out and hopefully it doesn't get redrawn back to the, um, to, to the CPU unit in this box there, which would be, I'd imagine, quite problematic. Um, uh, maybe a heat shield here could, could make a, a difference, I'll probably marginal. Um, but anyhow, so the hot air gets drawn in the bottom here, gets expelled through the back. Likewise, uh, hot air is also drawn through the fins. Uh, there isn't a fan on this side, but it's actually drawn in. So it's drawn into the card and it's pushed into the chassis via the fan there. So it goes in one way and it comes out there. And then I would imagine accumulation of hot air. At least there's a, about a, an inch and a half of space behind the card for a little bit of breathability. Um, but again, accumulation of hot air. And thankfully there's the three fans here to uh, exhaust the, uh, the hot air there. So um, I don't think it's too bad, but we're gonna have to uh, benchmark and kind of really look at the uh, temp temperatures that are being uh, generated. But otherwise, everything fits. It's just a matter of reassembling the uh the box here and then firing it up so as you can see it does close uh, but it's a matter of really uh pushing the uh the cables aside ensuring that none of the uh the headers there hit against the fan it's super tight um but i'm just going to jiggle things around make sure things aren't too tense uh, and then um, uh, put it all back together. A few final words before I sign off. I did manage to stuff the 4060 Ti uh, Founders Edition into the Nook 11 Extreme. Uh, it works and it appears to function as it should. Uh, I think this is probably the biggest card that one could possibly fit into this shoe box size nook. Uh, the 4070 FE uh, Founders Edition has a, a rather large uh, adapter that sticks out of the card and one could probably find it difficult to cram uh, not only the card but also the 12 pin adapter uh, and associated power cables into the Nook itself. So that's with the 4070 FE, but with the uh, 4060 Ti, more or less one step down, it does fit. It's, it is a physically narrower card by about one centimeter or so. You can check the specs online, look at the width specifically, compare the 40. 60 Ti with the other Founders Edition cards. Uh, and um, But anyhow, for those that are more or less in the same situation of trying to fit a 4060 Ti into a small form factor case, it does work. Um, I'll just be mindful of airflow uh, and cable management and general sizing and clearances, but um, I think uh, for the most part it should be okay. Um, so yeah, the card works um, and I've been enjoying it and I hope you too, uh, for those that have more or less the same card or, or are trying to stuff a um, 4060 sort of aftermarket card into their uh, Nook. Uh, I think the aftermarket cards are probably a little easier given that it, they don't use the NVIDIA 12 port adapter. So, yeah, anyhow, uh, best of luck to all of you.